Oh, did I sister root? I, uh, got a test bed installed on an external drive. Yes, it's inside an enclosure. It's one of those drives you can get out of an iPod or mini computer. Or whatever, it's in the enclosure. In dealing with the troublesome, idiotic is my should say, AMD GPU stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Well, I put it on a test. I installed clean Linux on that drive. And uh, I did it as a test bed to give it one of the newest modules a try. And uh, that's a version higher than the current ones I have on this machine. And let me say this, the current version that I have on this machine and the latest version provided by AMD because I have the repositories in that test bed on that drive, they are, they just won't compile under kernel 5.13. You know, the latest version that's currently out right now that Ubuntu machines currently have, sorry, Ubuntu installations currently have or Linux Mint or anything based on Ubuntu. Well, yeah, that's a problem. It just won't compile on that kernel. And not much, it just won't even fucking install. It just goes to an error. Now, if you're very curious about that, that's my cat docking shit down again. <laughs> he sees full of mischief. Yes, you are. Yeah, so, I'll link the tweet in my description of the video below. You can check it out. It'll, whatever the fuck it'll be in the description. Just expand it. If it, show, it doesn't show it, just hit see more and you'll see it. That's the better thing. So, yeah. It wrecked and broke everything. Well, almost everything. Luckily, thankfully, not everything. On the test bed. Thankfully, I didn't do it on this machine. I was considering it just to see. Maybe it's going to work on a test bed. Maybe it's going to install successfully. It didn't. That was it. Error status one. And uh, I managed to find instructions on how to reverse that. And that worked, thankfully. But the second time around, uh, still broke it. Yeah, broke everything, in fact. It kept trying to reinstall it every single time. And, well, you know the problem with that. It goes in an endless loop. And then when I tried to install something else, something broke and it just got stuck. And I had to do another clean install. Again, I did it at least three times because I kept fucking up. That's when I decided it's not worth trying it on this machine. No, nope, not worth it, period. I had to ignore all future kernel 5.13 updates because I'm on 5.11 and it's end of support by what day is it? February 2022 that's just next month but I'm, I'm not really going to give a shit too much you know why? well unless they get that shit unless AMD gets their shit together and fixes a problem I'm not going to be risking it and updating the kernel only to have it broken yet again. Or to be stuck with software rendering only. Or no video, video acceleration. Which means nothing will fucking play. Nothing in video form will play. In any media player whatsoever. It sucks shit. With frame buffering only. If you know what I mean. Just using the processor alone. Nothing's going to play nicely choppy like shit the only thing that will play and if you're wondering 640 by 4 you know 800 by 480 or less yeah i've done that evaluation before it sucked ostrich dick so i'm just gonna if i have to use an obsolete kernel i don't care i really don't care until this bollocks is settled 
I'll do it. Unless AMD can get their shit together and make sure their AMD GPU thing actually works properly and plays nicely and doesn't break AMD GPU, sorry, AMD GPU dash DKMS. That's the specific, specific package that keeps breaking every single time it gets installed, which causes a whole slew of other problems. Then, only then will I update the kernel and unignore all future package updates of that type. Yeah, yeah, that, that sucks. But I just thought I'd mention that. I was actually hmm, considering the time getting the GPU until I bought the XC6700. It was a lot of money, a lot of money spent on it. I was considering getting NVIDIA's and maybe I should have. Maybe I should have gotten NVIDIA's and I, well, there's pros and cons to that too, but still, I probably wouldn't have even had to deal with this bullshit going forward. Yeah, so you're a bored kitty, aren't you? Yes, you're bored, you're bored. Yeah, I wouldn't have had to deal with that bullshit going forward with, uh, uh you know, a graphics card I didn't quite think was going to be that troublesome going forward. Sure, it works at the outdated modules 5.4, 5.8, 5.11, just not 5.13. I don't know. And it does not, the card does not play nicely at all with anything but Ubuntu distributions, which is a big fucking problem. I tried many. As soon as you boot into the GUI, you know, the graphical user interface as Xorg, it just shuts the screw. It just shuts the card off. That's it. The card shuts right off. And if there is any fail safe mode, the card also shuts off. Because I tried it. Tries to read Debian. Card shuts off. In compatibility mode, shuts right off. Yeah. What a way to go. Unless you use Ubuntu or anything based on that, you are shit out of luck. Okay. Uh, hopefully something gets fixed sooner or later so I can jump onto the newer kernel. Otherwise, I'm going to be on something very obsolete for a long, long time. And it doesn't bother me. One bit. Okay. Enough of this bollocks. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And this video was intentionally sharpened.